Something's broken at the CBC in New Brunswick. It's April 26, 2023. I'm Dennis Acheson, and this is an episode of As I See It. So a by-election was held two days ago, April 24th, up in the north of province. How this story was covered leaves many questions. We'll put it that way, try to be polite. So I went online and read the story with the headline, Wins are wins for NB Liberals, but Greens celebrate too, and the story is by Jacques Poitras. What's always obvious to me is what's not reported. For example, how is it that the Conservatives did not run any candidates up there, except for one place, and did not run a candidate against Susan Holt, when the whole point of democracy is to give voters a choice. Not to go, oh, I don't think I'm going to win, so we're not going to run a candidate up there. My goodness, has it come to that? I think so, because that's how it was reported. It was considered as a legitimate strategy not to run a candidate and not to give voters a choice. How can you do that? And how can you not report that particular perspective on an election? So as usual, Mr. Poitras goes on to speculate, what if this and what if that? And in that speculation, he gets into some of the stats. And this is typical of how things are reported during elections. They will tell you a percentage of the vote that the winner received. They do not tell you the percentage of the vote of the total potential votes that could have been cast. And that is a much bigger story, it's a much sadder story, and nobody reports it. And it's another measure of our democracy in practice, or lack thereof. So when I read Mr. Poitras' story, I couldn't resist putting a comment up about why this wasn't put in context, why the win wasn't put in context. And here's my comment. Blah, blah, blah. And where's the reporting? Lots of speculation and opinion, but no reporting. So, looked it up myself. Holt, 2,343 votes. Brideau, 1,411 votes. White, 227 votes. Total votes cast in Bathurst, East Nipisiquit, St. Isidore, 3,981. There were 4,009 ballots. And especially important but not reported, 10,666 electors. Total, total voter turnout was 37.59%. Always incomplete and, as a result, always misleading. The way reporters decide to cover election stories. The real story? 62.5% did not vote. What has happened to CBC? So sad. Here's the link to Elections NB to verify the stats. There were other comments sort of in that vein about disappointment with CBC. One person put in, this is all very speculative, Jacques. Well, a day later I went back to see if there was any response to my comment and I saw this. The content was deactivated. In their little dialog box it says, your comment appears to violate our community guidelines and has been deactivated. Mystery to me. So. You look up community guidelines, and this is what you get. Some common guideline violations are personal attacks, insults, defamatory statements, or straying off topic. For the life of me, I cannot see how my comment and research was a violation of their policy on community guidelines. I was trying to point out what they were not reporting, what Mr. Poitraud chose not to report, and that is the percentage of the vote of the total potential votes. So then you can ask the other question, does Ms. Holt or any candidate have a mandate when over 62 to 63 percent of the people did not vote for them? Does any candidate have a mandate when not all political parties ran candidates 
so that they could have a choice when they voted. Final thought. There was a post put up a couple of weeks ago about CBC responding to some Twitter activity. From CBC Twitter account, our journalism is impartial and independent. To suggest otherwise is untrue. Well, I guess it depends how you look at it, CBC. Be good, have fun, love each other.